Hi everyone, AppChasers.com here. Recently, a beautiful new interactive program for the 2015 Regional Convention of Jehovah's Witnesses has been released. And a number of friends are wondering, what's the best way to take notes using an iPad and that program? You can see I've got PDF Expert up here on the iTunes App Store on my iPad, and it's a great app for managing your files on your Apple device. So this works with both the iPhone and the iPad, and it allows you to make annotations, highlight text, and do a couple of other tricks that we're going to show you in this video with the interactive program. Now I've already downloaded PDF Expert, so let's head straight over into Safari and we'll download the interactive program on JW.org. So I'm going to go into Safari here, and I've got JW.org already up here on my iPad. Let's navigate to the Publications tab at the top of the screen. Then we're going to move over on the left hand side to Books and Brochures. And this is where we'll find our interactive program. You can see we've got two different Imitate Jesus uh, convention items here. The one on the left is the convention program, and the one on the right is the convention invitation. So we don't want to get those confused. But instead, we want to click on uh, 2015 convention program. And then we've got our choice of PDF, RTF, note taker, so we want to choose PDF to get the interactive program. So I'll tap on that. And this brings up a nice window that asks us if we want to choose the regular program or the interactive program. Now just to give you an idea of what the interactive program does, is it's going to give us a table of contents and we can tap on any of the talk or the song titles and it'll jump right to that page in the program and allow us to take notes. So we'll show you how to do that once we get this into PDF Expert. So let's tap on the Convention Program Interactive here, which is our second item. Okay, so here I have the Interactive Program now open in Safari. And uh, we've got an Open In button here at the top right. So we want to uh, select that. And we don't want to choose Open in iBooks because that will bring the PDF over into iBooks, but we're not going to be able to take any good notes using iBooks. Instead we want to click open in and this will bring up our uh, share sheet here and we've got PDF Expert available. So we'll tap on open in PDF Expert. Okay so I've got the interactive program open here in PDF Expert. One nice feature I like about PDF Expert is the ability to see a thumbnail of all the pages in the document. And you can do that by tapping on the upper left hand corner here, these uh, four small squares. We'll tap on that and you'll notice that we've got a nice layout here of all the pages in this interactive program. Now the reason this program is interactive is because like we mentioned before, the uh, table of contents will allow you to jump to a certain page in the document. So let's go right into this table of contents view here. We'll tap on that. And we've got, of course, uh, all the talks for Friday listed here. Uh, we can also jump to Saturday by just tapping on the Saturday button at the top. And we've got Sunday here by tapping on that Sunday button. So that's one way you can navigate in the interactive program between the days. But let's go back to Friday here and we'll go into uh, one of our talks. Let's go into our first uh, chairman's address here. So I'll tap on that and this will bring up the page for that specific talk. And you'll notice here that we have a nice grid layout for notes. So how do you take notes with PDF Expert? Well, all you need to do is simply tap and hold anywhere on the screen and you'll get a nice pop-up menu and one of the uh, selections here is going to be note and one is going to be text. So let's go into note here. We'll show you wh what to do there. Uh, you can simply tap a sentence or a paragraph uh, right here and but that'll bring that up into more of a sticky note uh, format. So there we go. We can tap away from that and you'll notice it just gives us a little note dialog here. That's similar to what iBooks does, but where PDF Expert really shines is its text note taking ability. So let's delete that. We'll tap on that again and hit the little trash icon in the bottom left. Let's tap and hold again. And this time we're going to select text. Now this is more what we're talking about for taking notes 
uh, in this program. So let's uh, just start typing here. All right, so there is a couple lines that I've typed out here in PDF Expert. And uh, as we're typing, you'll notice that right at the top of the keyboard, we can change the font size here by just tapping that plus icon if we want to do that. We can also change the color. We can take black uh, notes or we can take green, whatever color we'd like. I had it set to red there. Um, we can also change the font. We've got um, Helvetica chosen here, which I like to use. And uh, we've also got uh, bold, we can change it to, or regular. Now if we hit done in the upper right hand uh, section of the keyboard, that'll uh, take away our keyboard. And we can always go back and edit these notes. So let's uh, tap on the note again. You can change the size of the selection box by doing that. So I'll show you how we can really shrink it down there, or we can expand it. We can also tap on there again and go ahead and change the font size at any time. We can make it bigger. We can make it back to our 12 point or whatever we'd like. We can change the color as well at any time. There we go. And we can change the font. We can edit it, which allows us to go back into that text and continue taking notes. There we go. So it's a nice way to uh, take notes on the interactive program. And that will be saved uh, right to that PDF for the next time we use it too. So let's jump back up to our table of contents here. We'll do that by tapping on the Friday button at the top of the screen. So we've got our table of contents for the entire program here. And let's say you'd like to uh, add a page to your notes. So we can do that easily in PDF Expert, which is another reason I really like this program. Let's go into one of our talks here, perhaps the keynote address on Friday. So we'll tap on that. Of course, we've got our section here for notes, but it's not a very uh, big section. You notice on the next page uh, is the song that follows this talk. So let's add a page to this program. We'll do that by tapping the upper left again. That's our four squares. And you'll notice that we've got uh, this page highlighted here with a little blue border around that thumbnail. And uh, what we'll do right now is add a page by tapping on the upper right hand corner where you see this little image of a uh, piece of paper with a plus icon. So we'll tap that. It's going to ask us what kind of page we'd like to add. A blank one, uh, one with lines or a grid. We'll choose a, our lined option here. We'll hit done. And it adds this uh, page right after the thumbnail page that we had highlighted. So now we've got that thumbnail highlighted. And we can go ahead and add another page right after that one. So there we go. We've got new uh, pages for notes added to our document. Let's close this view in the upper left here. And you can see we've got our new pages for taking notes that follow right after our keynote address page. So do the interactive links still work? Well, let's test it out here. We'll tap on the Friday button again. Okay, so we're back here in our table of contents. And let's click on our keynote address here. It brings us to our keynote address page and of course following that we have our notes. But the real test is if we can still link to the pages that come after that. Let's go back on Friday there and let's go to our afternoon. Let's go to um, Sing Praises and Imitation of Jesus which is our first talk in the afternoon. And it jumps right to that page. So even with adding pages to this interactive document, uh, the brothers have made it very well so that uh, we can still preserve those links uh, to our different talks. So that's how uh, we found the best way to use PDF Expert to take notes in the interactive program for the 2015 Regional Convention. Now if you'd like further instruction or tips and tricks, head on over to appchasers.com.